How's it going guys? It is Country Tactical here, back with another uniform video. And in this video, we're gonna be making the First World War Italian uniform. Now, I've wanted to make this uniform since last year, because I've always liked the cape that they had. We're finally doing it. Mav is also super excited, but he is really tired, granted. Bien Mav. Bien me, bien me, bon amici. Something's wrong with Mav, but at least he's sort of in the right spirit. Let's do it. Uh, yes, Mario Luigi. Ah! First up, we need to make some shoes. We're looking around for some black boots. These are all way too costly. Overall in our Walmart, we don't have much of a selection. It's either too expensive or just doesn't look right. But turn around Mav, look what we found. They're black and they have laces. And guess what? <laughs> they are only $9, $10. And they even got Mav size. Here, here's the 13 wide if you need that. Oh, thank you. The problem is we're gonna be using putties with this uniform. It doesn't have the biggest lip to put putties around, but it might catch because there's a little bit. We're just gonna have to find out. Woo. Now what do we need, Mav? The shirt? No, putties, Mav. <laughs> oh, putties, okay. In order to make putties for cheap, we need to get ace bandages. We've used them before, we're gonna use them again. They just turn out to be the best, you know, putties that you can make for like $4. Look, hey. as you can tell, in the medical section, you have bandages. You want the four inch elastic bandage wrap. Get two of them, and you have two little putties. We might also spray paint those green. What do we need now, Mav? The shirts. Or the pants. Or the pants, either works. Though. Or something for Mav and his girl. <laughs> Looking for some green pants. I kind of want to make the pants first, Mav. Or making the pants first. What do you want from me? What do you want? Your freaking green pants. Right here, $15. Let's look at them. I don't know what happened to the $9 sweatpants that we had last year, but we have the $15 sweatpants. And these are better. They're tougher, better material. Go ahead and get a large, extra large green one so we get extra. Maverick, it's for extra the baggy large. They tend to have baggy pants. Mm -hmm. Exact. I mean... Okay, get a large then, if you're gonna cry about it. Where are the shirts, Maverick? Over here. 16 bucks. I don't know, these are blue. We can get, <sighs> Maverick, you gotta open your eyes a little bit. Oh, sorry, I'm colorful. Why did they change the color of the button? It's uh, weathering. Yes, it's, it's weathering. And brass buttons, you know, when brass gets weathered, the paint comes off and the brass shines. That's exactly what's happening right there. Now, what do we need, Mav? I'm thinking the cape. How are we gonna oh. make the cape? As we were looking for a cape, we came across a dilemma. We have these $15 sweatpants, they're baggy, they're nice. However, they don't color match the shirt all too well. These are a bit lighter, a bit gray, and we're olive. We're walking past this clearance section, and we came across these pants for only $11. And guess what? They color match a lot better than these. Go ahead and put those back, because I think we know what we're using now. The pants shall be returned like the Austrian dogs had to go back to their homeland after we pushed them back. I think we know what we need for the cape. What? <laughs> right over here, we got some cheap shirts. Okay, I will admit the neck is a little bit large, but it's okay. we're gonna cut the middle bit. and we're not gonna cut the edge so it'll be like you know and you can sloop that over and it'll have a cape and how much is it nine dollars so kind of cheap guess what we have another dilemma as we're walking by the work clothing section we came across these nine dollar even thicker with guess what a smaller collar and it's a better color in my opinion it is a better color it's more matching we can cut off the pocket and it's just sturdier material so we got to get rid of this one Mav. back forth from whence they came by the way get the 3xl or just the biggest you can get because that cape goes over his tunic and just looks big and flowy that's what you want it's majestic very straight to the belt section to the belt section we already know what we need we know the drill we go right over to the the seven dollar brown belt it goes good every time all right mav what do we need now we need some suspenders look these ones right are actually there. really good nine dollars they work every time let's get them we need one more thing actually two more things technically the first one is the hat we don't really know what kind of hat we want i guess we can make the helmet but i really want to make one of their hats because it'd probably be quicker and easier and it's a lot more cool looking yeah we were looking at the hat came across this hat what is it called white girl hat <laughs> we came across this green white girl hat that would have matched perfectly with this guy's hat as you can tell it looks a little bit blue so we're not too sure if that's the right color but then maverick was looking at that and that's kind of almost like a baseball cap and right here for ten dollars you can get this and all we have to do is paint it green it has a flat bill and it's like a trucker hat i think it'd work perfectly i do think and we could do details and stuff like that now the last thing we need is just some spray paint for the hat and the putties so let's go get that. Kind of funny because as we're putting the green one up, there's a blue one right behind it and it would have worked with this one. So if you do want one of these hats, you can get it. I would just cut the brim a bit shorter. Maverick, stop. Hat. 
Uh, okay, cut the brim a bit shorter. How much is this? Nine dollars. Fourteen. Fourteen. Okay, we're saving money with the trucker hat. So put this one up. But that is another option, I guess. All right, we're looking at the greens. Yeah, this one matches a lot better than this one. It actually looks military color. Four dollars, so it's not bad. Alrighty, math. So that's just about everything we need from Walmart. What do you have to say about this? Hey, it's bene. Bene means good in Italian. Okay, good. I got milk, and I paid sixty-eight dollars so far. Already kind of expensive. But I'm excited to see what we can turn this uniform into because we're making a cape and all these things. I have a pretty good hope about it, and I think it's going to turn out good. I'm extremely excited. I think it's going to be great. Let's go! Okay, guys, so we have everything out and on the table. Now we need to factor in and see what the final price of all this stuff. First up, we have the $10 shoes, so that's $10. The two ace bandage wraps, that's $4, $2 each. We got the pants, which were $11. We saved money on that. $4 spray paint. This is a $9 shirt, $16 Wrangler belt, which was $7, and $9 suspenders. Also, the hat was how much money? I think it was nine bucks. So all that in total is how much money, man. Oh, wait, Matt fell asleep. Matt, wake up! Good. We gotta see the final price of what? Of all the freaking stuff you're about to put on. Come on now. It's a lot of money. Mav is such a goob. He needs to sleep more. Like, he needs to go to bed and not stay up all night playing Clash of Clans. Hey, you got me in the game. Yeah, but I didn't think you'd play it so damn much. All right, Mav, we need to know the final price. With all that together, the final price is... $79! It should have been $69. That would have been perfect. Probably go ahead and get the putties laid out so we can paint them green. That's true. Mav is eating the putty. I mean, it tastes like Christmas. Just kidding, I won't live to... Lay this Either out way. like I'm gonna lay you out when we finally have a boxing match. 22,000 likes and we'll have a boxing match. Yeah, I'll actually box him out. I'll box you. I think that and sounds fun. Now, we would recommend you have some sort of backing, but we don't really care about this concrete because, uh, yeah, stuff just happens on it. And now I'm gonna spray paint you for all the times you no, got me. Ma no, no, no. Or something behind it. Making it green. Now, do this way. Alright. You can do that. Yeah, I'm thinking that's looking pretty good. All right. Should we go ahead and, and spray paint the hat? Yeah, let's do it. Don't oh. don't video me with my underwear. Ah! If we got a video to a million views, I would do the made uniform. You'd wear it? I'd wear it. And I think it'd public. be pretty funny. And in public. I'm not doing it in public. Yes, you are, Matt. For a million views? In yes, in public, it would have to get 500,000. <laughs> 500,000 likes, guys. Hit that I'll like button. This is actually a really nice shirt, too. I know. It's looking good so far. It's looking really good. Mav is throwing on the belt and suspenders now. That's how you do it, Mav. There you go. Mi vremito reri i capelli. I'm so sorry, all the people who speak Italian. That's my best. That's my best <laughs> thing. <laughs> I wanted to look a little bit more Italian for this. Fucking Brad Pitt over here. Time to make the cape. First thing we're going to try is to cut right down the middle, and then we're going to put it on and see how it looks. Make sure you get some sharp scissors. You don't want dual ones or it's just gonna mess this up. All right, now we're gonna throw this on and then we can probably cut off the puck. You know what, I'm gonna cut off the puck now. Grab your sharp RDT knife and pretty much just the thread and you kind of rip it off after that. Yeah. Now we just gotta throw this on map and see how it looks. Now we throw the cape on, baby. Italian Superman. Up, All up, Italian and away. Superman. The RDT, the Superman right. of the battlefield. <gasps> Yo, that's looking fly. I'm gonna try to tuck in the sleeves. So bam, look at that. Put the collar out a little bit. All right, Mav, what do you believe this cape is called? Carabineriri? Carabineriri? Comment if that's correct. I have no idea how to pronounce that. I am so sorry. I don't speak Italian. I can tell right. you. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> With my Brad Pitt haircut. <laughs> Arrivederci. Gorlami. I just looked at the cape. This looks so good. I know. Show it's, them. It's not as thick, but that's okay. Mav is putting on the putties. Now wrap around once and then slowly go up. No, he's all right now. Make sure it's tight. Mav does not know how to tie putties yet. Well, move their feet really close. Okay. All right, that's how you do putties. Now, the reason I don't really know how to do this it is he's because dumb. all my other videos, I wear jack boots or Chelsea boots. Oh my goodness, the voice break well, that I just had. With Chelsea boots, everybody knows we always put putties on them. Yeah, but I only had one other video with the putties. Remember, it was the British Marine. Perfect. Now we got the putties on. It's looking really good so far. Last thing we need, is the hat. So let's go ahead and put it on. He has his regiment regiment numbers on it. I'm in Savaya! Maverick! He's fighting on the Azonzo River! Get him, Maverick! 
Comment what you in the form you want next. Okay guys, for $79, you can get the First World War Italian uniform from Walmart. Using Halloween, whatever you want. I think it turned out really good. This is one of our best uniforms that we made. And if you guys enjoyed it, can we get 500,000 likes? Or at least 1918. Thank you guys for all the support on these videos. Also, shout out to the Patreon supporters. They help us afford stuff like this. And if you want to help support, links are in the description. Remember, check out the other uniforms and stay alert for the new ones that come out. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Remember to follow the Instagram, by the way. I'm in through, <laughs> you want to do a retake?